Good afternoon. We are on site with the Achievers Program, which is a joint venture between the Wilmington Chapter of the Lynx Incorporated and the Wilmington Alumni Chapter of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. What the program is, is a uh, six-month intensive uh, mentoring program which focuses on empowering African-American young men. Hello, my name is Seth Ward. I'm part and the president of the 2011 Achievers. I was introduced to this program uh, through a friend of mine. He was in the program last year. I didn't really know much about it, but uh, we got some information in the mail. My mom talked to his mom, you know, how moms are. And she told me about it and I thought it'd be worth checking out. So I went to the first meeting and it was, it interested me a lot. I thought that the different activities they were going to do, the trips, it, it would be very beneficial to me. So I decided I would con continue in it. Um, so far, this is our second meeting and I've learned that goal setting is more important than I ever thought. I don't, I never really planned ahead very much. As I went through the first workshop and learned about goal setting, I realized that if I made a goal and actually wrote it down, it would help me more than if I just said in my head, oh, I'm gonna do this, because writing it down, it makes me have to look at it and realize that there's something there, there's something I really wanna do. As I leave this program in six, five months, I hope to take away a lot of things that will help me uh, as I move on in life, whether it has to do with essay, writing, goal setting, fitness, everything. I want to become a better person to help those around me. Right, well, my name is Brandon Boyd, and um, as you know, we're in the 2011 Achievers Program. Um, so far, I really enjoy the program. It gives me a lot to do in my spare time, obviously, and um, not just like stuff to do. It gives me life skills. It gives me you know, life lessons, it gives me smarter, more intelligent for the future, and it gives me, you know, it just gives me like the, what I'm looking for, just like the honor just to go out in the real world and tell people, oh yeah, I'm part of the Chiefs program, and um, it's, what I've taken from it so far is it's a pretty good program, especially African American young men, knowing where we come from as African Americans, how we're not looked down upon but we're not as looked up upon as people ourselves so i think this program is really good in advancing the status of african americans because we need more african american young men to better our community i'm anthony campalonga i am the uh, vice president of the 2011 achievers program um so far basically i've just i've gotten really good connections with everybody. I've learned to, you know, respect your fellow man and you know like everybody can be your your brother and your friend if like given a chance. So what I hope to gain from this program, I hope to gain just even more connections when you know it comes to going into college and you know this program is definitely there to help you get into college and it will definitely help me financially and you know socially when I go off into you know the real world. So Uh, today marks our essay uh, preparation workshop and uh, it's a really good opportunity for the young men to get exposure to really uh, you know getting used to writing and how to uh, prepare their thoughts on paper so it's a really good opportunity for the young men to be exposed to a different aspect as far as writing goes and this is just one example of the different types of workshops that they'll experience throughout the course of the Achievers program. All kinds of essays. You can have essay like Eric Holder was preparing about Black History Month. We can have essays for class. We can have essays for college. Okay. So essay, effective essay writing is very important. Effective writing is very important. It could mean the difference between a good grade and a bad grade, right? For those of us in the work world, it could mean the difference between a promotion and a pink slip. We've got until 3.15, I think it says. All right, I want you all to go. First of all, I want you to spread out. Can't write this.
places that say sitting here. There's some seats on the back row, back there. Give yourself some space. You want to go up here? Uh, at 3.15, I want an essay. Okay. <laughs> Some things that you should be doing now, and some things you should not be doing now. So the first half of the workshop is going to be dedicated to information about wellness, nutrition, and your health. The second part is going to be physical. We're going to go up into the gym, and we're going to go through a fitness routine for about 45 minutes. It's very important that you wear clothing prepared for that. It's also very important that I need to know if anybody has any injuries, any knee injuries, any back injuries, any kind of injuries at all. We need to know that because we're going to be working every part of the body. This is how it's going to has to do with your health. It's good stuff. And I talk real fast, but you guys are good. Now, the adults in the room are saying, what is she saying, right? But the young people, age 15 and 19, you got it, right? Because you're used to boom, 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 boom. So we're, good, we're okay. It's the one thing about talking to young people. It works for me. Every second, there's stuff on the TV about health. There's stuff on your computers about health. There's stuff everywhere about health. It's bombarding us, okay? You hear about Atkins diet. You may have heard your parents talking about Weight Watchers. And you see Jennifer Hudson with, you guys are young, but you see she's doing the Weight Watchers diet. You see about Atkins diet. So you are very health conscious, which is great. So when you're ahead of the eight ball because you're health conscious, that part is good stuff for healthy living. Unfortunately, here's the unfortunate part. Obesity is huge amongst your generation. You're watching, um, like I said, my, my son's texting me. You're watching um, the computer, the internet, TV. You got a lot of media stuff, which has good stuff. It's got a downside. It's making young people too sedentary. It's going to find your body mass index. Just put your body mass index. Don't put your name. Just put your body mass index. Go down and you'll see your, you can look at this little chart and find your body mass index. Young men here. About 15 of them had a BMI under 24. Look at your charts there, guys. So what BMI under 24, that's a what kind of BMI? Normal. Normal, so that's healthy. So only half the young men had a good BMI. Okay, so underweight is bad stuff, and most, most young men are underweight. Usually when I talk to a female audience, they have different issues. It's uncommon for young men, and none of you guys were in the underweight thing that I saw. Okay, okay first things so, first. Uh, everybody bring your waiver back. Sign waiver. Pass your waiver around. Anybody have any back injuries, any knee injuries, any recent surgery, any problems at all that you don't feel that you should engage in any exercise? We're going to be doing lunges, we're going to be moving, we're going to be on our back, we're going to be on our sides. <laughs> i 
First I didn't have the will to carry on Illusions in my mind Like that picture when you feel you can't go on Like you've been left behind Life goes on now Take me to that place Yeah,